Hello there everyone, this is Argon Matrix welcoming you to episode 50 of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Alright, so last time we raced against these awesome beavers or badgers or whatever they are, and we got an empty bottle, and now we are going to challenge them again because we like making them suffer. Alright. Okay, so, yeah, he's back, little brother. Yeah, he's back, big brother. But we don't have any more empty bottles, do we, little brother? No, we don't have any, big brother. If you stay, you still want to race, though. That's fine. What will you do? I'll race. Why is the R in race capitalized there? That's weird. Typo, maybe? I don't know. First, you have to start with my with my little brother. This time, the time is one minute fifty. Okay, ten seconds less than last time. That's scary. But not really. Alright, so this race is basically identical to the first time that you did it, or when we did in the last episode. Wait, what? What are you saying? Oh, oh you're saying that last episode ended at 10 p.m. on the night of the first day, and now it's 4 a 4 p.m. on the day of the first day? Um, there's a very simple explanation for that, and that's, um, that the little beaver's eyes, his swirling eyes, have time travel abilities. Oh my god, and I stared into them for too long while editing that last video. And then I went back in time and now it's 4 p.m. Or maybe I just failed a recording. Either way, it's it's earlier in the day, so I have more time to do stuff, which is actually pretty good. I've already shown like half of this course. And I might as well just show the rest of it. I mean, there's no point in not showing it now, other than the fact that you've already seen it. Up and out of the water again, which is fantastic. Okay. Oh, this is so boring. God damn it. At least the atmosphere is nice around here. It's kind of cool. Like, I don't even know what this area is. Like, just like, is it just a big dam? Like, this. Like, because I like see a dam to my right there. And I don't know. I guess since they're beavers, it makes perfect sense. Oh, right, yeah, this isn't too hard at all. And there's one more race after this against the big. The big beaver, I guess. The boss beaver. And it has the same time limit, I think. But just five more rings. So, that's again identical to his earlier race. So, I will not show that. See, the R is not capitalized anymore. That's weird. Wow. Alright. Okay, let's do this. Oh, look at this. the final stretch. And we're almost at 6 o'clock. It's a race against the clock. Who shall come first? The end of the race or night time? Oh, God. Yeah, okay, there's night time. Night of the first day. Alright, oh jeez, nine seconds left. Dude, no, no! Come on, get in the ring. Thank you. Oh, that was scary for a second there. Okay, yes. It's a formidable opponent, little brother. You're all just talk, eh, big brother? If we give that to him, I wonder if we'll leave us alone, little brother. Yeah, I want to quit, big brother. And we get a heart piece, which makes a new heart container. Which is totally awesome. Please let it be over. And yes, don't worry guys, it's over. I'm not going to make you suffer anymore. But I do want to kind of go out on that course one more time. Just out. Because like, I see on the map that there's actually like split off areas. Like there's two ways to go at a certain point. And I don't think I've ever like gone on one of those split off paths or found out where it is. So I just kind of want to find that. Is it through here? Is is there something through there? Uh, I want to try and figure... I don't know, this is a mystery that must be solved. Alright, well, I don't know what that section of the map is about right there, but... Because there's, like, I can see, like, two different paths, but I went to them, and they just... You can't take them at all, so I don't know what that's about. Can I jump this? Well, no, probably not, anyways. <laughs> Even if I had pulled that off well enough, probably wouldn't have gotten the right air. The proper air. Okay, uh, that's where the beavers are. I want the exit, please. Jeez, I need to take a poo. <laughs> you guys totally wanted to hear that, didn't you? Okay. So let's get out of the water here. And now, I think, um, what else can I do now? It's night time, so I can't do that, like, mini game that I was trying to do in the last episode. Not until morning. So, I think I will just take this time to, uh, warp out. And there's another heart piece that I can actually get with the stuff that I got off screen before. Which you guys didn't see. I actually went and picked up, a uh, seed, um, what is it called? The magic bean plant thing? 
and I went and set my Scarecrow song with Pierre. So, yeah, you're gonna need both of those things along with, like, the hook shot in order to get what I'm getting. You'll also need a bottle of spring water, which... Why did I take that off? Which I also got off screen. Or you'll need it to be the second day so that's raining. Either one works. Alright, so it's gonna be over out at this area with the giant like likes. Of course. Hey, giant like like. Wee smash. It's <laughs> completely electric you, that guy, for no reason. It actually caused a pretty big lag spike right there, not even like on the video itself, just in the actual game on my TV. It's kind of rare, actually. Oh, by the way, sorry for not having like an episode of this for like forever. Like, what was it, like last week that I posted one of these? Like, seriously, man, it's been so freaking long, and I, I don't know, there's, like, been this one project at school that was just, required a lot of my attention, and then, when I was not working on the project, I just flat out didn't really want to record at the time, because I was tired of doing the project, and need to rest, and, I don't know, that like likes gonna get me, isn't he? I can see him back behind me back there. Oh god, he was, like, slowly creeping up on me, and I could hear the music beginning to swell. That's really scary and ominous. But yeah, I might make this episode a little bit longer just so that you guys can, uh... Well, because I haven't posted one in so long that you guys probably deserve it. So this won't be like a 12-minute video like they normally are. Right, and here's the soft soil patch. Just like the two that we've used earlier in the game, pretty much. And don't do that. You can't plant it in the air lung as much as you might want to. Alright, there we go. And spring water. Oh, don't miss. Please don't miss. Don't miss, don't miss. Well, it's on the soil, so that should... Oh, did... No! What? <laughs> it just pushed me off the edge of the platform by growing. <laughs> That's a new one on me. Okay. Wow. Wow. I, I was not expecting that. <laughs> Jeez, man. How stupid is that? Oh, God. Oh my god. <laughs> that makes this entire recording session worth it just for that. Seriously. Oh boy. Okay. Uh, well, I'm I'm close enough. I was gonna probably I was gonna like cut out this trip, but I was laughing so much along the way that I just I guess I ended up laughing all the way to the plant back here. Jeez, how many times has a like one of these plants screwed you over like that without like actually moving at all. It's a new experience for me, definitely. Alright, and you can see that there's one more platform off in the distance there, which means that you're gonna need your Scarecrow song for this, which mine is the Blood of Fire, of course, because that's one awesome song. It's also probably, I think it's the only song that you can actually use for a Scarecrow song in this game that was in Ocarina of Time, because the other songs, I don't think they have, like, any of them have eight notes, so, whatever. And... Heart piece, yes. And each new heart container, blah de blah blah de blah 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 blah. Right, you die. No. Wow, that was stupid of me. I just charged head first right into a like like. What are you doing? Teach your shield and you whatever. Okay, can you die? What's this guy doing? He's just wiggling. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. All right, give me back my shield, bro. Thank you. And I think this actually gets auto-equipped. Yeah, there you go. Alright, so what can I do now? Um, I'm trying to think here. It's only 8 p.m., so I can't quite do what I wanted to right now. Uh, and I can't go out and do that minigame, because it's nighttime, unfortunately. Oh, I gotta get out of the water before I drown and die. I'm gonna die. Alright. You know what, guys, I'm just going to this for a second, and I'll be back. I need to think of something to do. Okay, guys, um, the cut that you the cut that you just witnessed was actually an amazing amount of time between the two sections, because as you can see, I'm no longer in the ocean, but I'm in the mountains, and it's springtime, so between those two, like, little cliffs that took you, like, li less than a second to transition between, I actually went and beat Gaut. So, there you go. And that's because I wanted to talk to this guy, who won't appear until it's springtime. I've been waiting for you, Don Giro. Forgive me, for I'm mistaken. 
but it looks like you have lost a little wig. As you see, as you can see, Don Diego, the one long winter has ended and the spring has finally come to these mountains. Let us begin our course. Great course, buddy. Fantastic. Unfortunately, it seems not all of our members have gathered. Perhaps it is because the winter was too long? They must not have realized that the spring had come to the mountains. And when the great Don Jiro has come for us, too, what a pity. What a pity. Where in the world could the other members be? And what could they be doing? I don't know. Well, actually, I do know because... If you've been paying attention to the, li to the little details, you will actually have noticed that we have passed four other frogs that look just like him on our journeys, and they seem to not serve really much of a purpose at all until now. Because now that we have the Don Jiro's mask, we can actually go talk to them, and I don't think they ever actually explain who Don Jiro is, so that's just left a total and utter mystery. Alright, so... We're going to need to go to basically like the four corners of the earth here and gather all these uh, frogs together back in the mountains. So the first one is actually pretty simple. He's right in the laundry pool here where we found the stray fairy for the broke for the broken fairy. All right, and let's speak to him. Ah, Don Diego, it has been so long. What has brought you all this way? Could it be the spring has finally come to the mountains? That look, it is true. Winter was so long and I began to lose hope. I understand. I shall head for the mountains immediately. And poof. He just teleports away. Jeez. It's one crazy frog, man. Not as crazy as the one in freaking Chrono Tricker, though. Nothing could be that guy. Except maybe Slippy. Slippy's pretty awesome, too. Alright, so the second one, uh, that, well, the second one that I'm gonna get, you don't have to get these in any particular order. But there's actually gonna be two in the Southern Swamp. Well, one in the Southern Swamp and one in Woodfall, actually. And the one in Woodfall is actually a lot more annoying, and I don't remember too well where it is. But I'm sure we'll find it together, so don't worry about that. Hey, Deku Nuts. Haven't used one of those in a while, so you know, just for the hell of it. Uh. Bam! Ha! Did that surprise you, viewers? Alright. So we're just gonna make it become a Deku. Deku scrub to make this go a little bit quicker since we can hop across the water this way. I suppose if I were a Zor, that would make this ultimately quicker because you can swim through the water at like lightning speed, but whatever. This is more fun. Oh, I thought I was getting drowned there, but apparently I landed in shallow enough water that I didn't. Thank goodness. Oh god. No! <laughs> that was stupid. Hey, where am I? Oh. Alright. Oh, my furnace just turned off. Lovely, now I can actually hear the game over nothing. Alright. So, pass all this stuff, and I probably should be cutting this out. I'll cut out the trip to the next two, because it is a lot more annoying and long. And you will see why. Alright, so the third one, or... Well, yeah, the third one, because there's one in the mountains, too. But, here he is. So, put on your Don Jiro's mask, and... Ah, Don Jiro, it has been so long. What has brought you all this way? Oh yeah, they basically all say the same thing, so I'm just gonna skip that text. He's really happy though, look at him bounce there. Alright, so the next one is actually gonna be in the Woodfall Temple, believe it or not. So I'm gonna meet you in the Woodfall Temple, and I'll show you which room it's actually in. Hold on. Okay, I'll just cut back in right here because there's a... Uh, this should be a pretty good reference point for what I'm about to go do. Alright, so from the central hub room, you want to head off to the east here, and into this room, I think. I really hope this is the case. I hope I'm doing the right thing. And then I think you need to, uh, oh crap. Um, well, first off, I'm pretty sure you're going to need to actually shoot the eye so this thing moves. And here we go. Just line up the shot, and BAM! What's with those lion sculptures on the walls, too? Are those lines? I don't know. Those are weird things. I'll tell you what. Alright. And now you want to dive into this flower and... Uh, oh, can I make that? Can I make that? Please? And yeah, I can totally make that. Sweet. And I think in here, yup, this is the room. Remember this guy? The frog boss? Alright. Uh, what's he doing? Can I just slash him? Slash! Sweet. Alright. 
So you're actually going to have to beat this guy because if you remember, when he dies, he actually turns into one of the frogs, which is kind of crazy. I don't know what happened to him to turn him into this, but okay. Right, so just split him off like that. Uh, actually, I'm just going to cut ahead so because you guys have already seen this fight, so no point showing it again. All right, perfect. Thank you. Thank you and good night. No, this isn't the end of the episode. Don't leave yet. Okay, there you turned into that blue frog. And that door opens, which you don't care. Oh my god, my dog wants out. Well, I'll talk to this guy first. Alright, dude, don't you don't need a pig mask. You don't need a pigma mask. Alright. And yeah, let's get past all this and just poof out of here. Alright. I'm gonna go let my dog out. I will meet you actually. I'll meet you at Great Bay Temple, because that's where the last one is. I know. You don't want to go back there, but alas, we must. Okay, we're back. Jeez, I wanted to hold it for longer than that, but I just, I just couldn't. I didn't have enough of a deep breath beforehand. All right, so yeah, we're back in the. Great Bay Temple here. Um, I was just in the main hub whirlpool room, so that's that's a pretty good reference point for you. Um, you'll need to have the water spinning counterclockwise, which entails having the yellow switch pressed or yellow switch turned at the beginning of the temple in the first room there. Just in case you're curious, in case you're following along, because I know this is a let's play, but it's also kind of a walkthrough too. So, here you go. Alright, and you need to head into this room, where you got the boss key before, if you remember. I know I do. Had to play this temple four times already. But you only had to see one of them, thankfully. Well, actually, you saw most of one and... Well, all of one and part of the second. But, that's beside the point. Alright. So, uh, since we've already beaten this temple in this cycle, we'll be able to head in here... And this was the area where we fought the frog boss, but since we already fought him, he's actually already like this. So that makes this easier on me for time, anyways. So let's talk to him. Ah, oh, Don Jiro! Yeah, 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 I forgot. You say the exact same thing as everyone else, and you hop up and down like a crazy person. Alright, so now we are going to go and go ahead and warp back to the mountains. Unfortunately, playing this song in here will source to the entrance, because that's how it works in temples. So we'll need to first exit the temple, and then use it again, and blah blah blah, it's just really annoying to- is there- there was like a waterfall on the wall there, but it was only part of- I don't know if you saw that, maybe it was just me being stupid. Alright. Carry me, you big stupid turtle thing. I've only ever seen like one turtle, like, well- like one turtle in my real life, like I've seen them in pictures and stuff, but only one in my actual life, and I wanted to get a picture of it with my underwater camera, but apparently my mom had used the last picture from that camera on herself, and so we were like, oh, we could have got a picture of the turtle, but no, no, no. Yeah, that was when, that was on my trip to Hawaii, which was awesome, it was a few years ago. But enough about that. Gotta concentrate on these frogs now. Yeah, so basically this is like the Termina version of the frogs that were in Wind Waker and Zora... Not in, in Ocarina of Time, in the Zora River. And, wow, what's with the lag that I've been getting lately? It's just my Wii, probably. But the ones that, remember, you like, played songs for them and made them sing and stuff. Alright, what if it's in the kit? John Joe, should we sing again? Yes. <laughs> Look at Link hopping up and down there. That was pretty awesome, I have to admit. The conducting was spectacular, and all of our members rose to the occasion. This is how deeply we were moved by your spectacular conducting. We made their hearts swell. That's just awesome. Alright, let's do it again sometime. Alright, so I believe that is our, like... Was that our third heart piece this video? And it, we're almost at 20 minutes, too, so I should really end this off. Um, Sorry for the long video, but again, I think it makes up for the fact that I haven't posted in a while, and, um, also this is the 50th video, so it's kind of special. And thank you for watching, and until next time, this is Argon Matrix signing out. Thank you.
and good night.